this series is about dementia and Alzheimer's and how it is too often used as a default diagnosis in older people. What to do about it and the problems that can result from that. First, let's talk about what each one is, how they differ. We need that basic understanding. Many years ago, I heard an explanation which I found very helpful. If a person has dementia, he or she may forget where the silverware is kept. A person with advanced Alzheimer's will forget what silverware is. Another way of putting it is, with dementia, a person may have trouble remembering the names of grandchildren. With advanced Alzheimer's, the person most likely won't even know who those young people standing in front of them even are. Dementia is a condition caused by many, many different things, many of which can be cured or remedied. Alzheimer's is a disease of the brain that cannot be cured. If you slow down a little bit with some medication, it cannot be cured. With Alzheimer's, the brain deteriorates. What happens is, the brain, that the neurons that need to connect for memories to be correct stop connecting. And they do that because the brain develops plaque, it is thickening, it is hardening, it's, it's becoming rigid. The neurons don't connect. We know now that there are life habits that can override that. We'll talk about that at another time. So there is some good, I do want you to know there is some good news. But there is no cure for Alzheimer's. Another complication is, is that while there are brain scans and neurological testing that can be done to kind of diagnose Alzheimer's, a definitive diagnosis cannot be made until after death and then only with an autopsy. Dementia is a huge umbrella of symptoms and diseases. It isn't technically a disease at all, but rather a cluster of symptoms of other diseases that present commonalities. That's what makes it so difficult to spot easily. One can just assume gray hair, that's time. It's gonna happen. Dementia, when treated properly, when the underlying condition is recognized, is very treatable. It can always make a difference. And sometimes the treatment of the underlying illness reverses the entire situation. It's why it's so important to know this. A short list of the possibilities are UTIs, head trauma, heart or lung issues, liver or kidney issues, medications, reactions to medications, interactions of medications, heavy metals. The list goes on and on. And then we, by the way, can add to it depression. Now, depression can be either chemical or situational. And that, again, involves the interactions of medications, so many things. Loneliness can cause underlying dementia. So many things, all of which can get better with proper diagnosis and treatment. And as I said, and it bears repeating, some of which can be reversed entirely with the proper diagnosis and treatment. Now, if you have a doctor who knows all of this and goes through this good, great, send me the name of your doctor and I'll, I'll let everybody know that I can. However, 
There are too many doctors who will say, shrug their shoulders, look, you have to expect that the faculties will diminish when you get old. It just happens. When that's how it's treated, you or your loved one not only aren't getting the care you need, but you have an illness or something going on in your body that's being ignored. This is not good. The next video I'm going to do will be about UTIs. That is one of the commonest illnesses that can really look like dementia, causing the symptoms. I will see you then.